In this video, you have to learn how you can be able to answer this jump question in economics. Do you get me? So when the question is being asked, don't be, you know, um, don't be too fast, you know, to um, engage that question. Make sure that you do a little bit brainstorming. All right. So let us assume that this question is being asked. Okay. So below is the question. Now, do you see, this is actually the question given to us, all right? We were told to, you know, um, give an answer to this question. Inflation can simply mean what? Options. Option A, increase in general price level. Option B, velocity of money in circulation. Option C, increase in demand. Option D, too many money in circulation. Option E, all of the above. So do you get a point now? So now you as an economist, you know, student who wants to write jam, you know, in the OBJ or YX. So how can you be able to answer this question? By me looking, one could, you know, infer that um, that E, all of the above should be the answer. But it's not how E should be the answer. All right. All of the above cannot be the answer. First of all, you have to check the definition, the definition of inflation. Inflation can simply means the um, increase in the general price level, you know, as a result of what too much of money in circulation, or as a result of what too many um, hands, you know, chasing fewer goods. Do you get the point? So when you underline that part of, you know, explanation or definition of inflation, which says too much of money, I'm sorry, which which, which says increase in the general price level. All right, that becomes the answer of what this question now, because option B. Velocity of money in circulation is simply how, you know, or the number of times money changes hands, all right? It's a very simple thing. Then option C is increase in demand. That increase in demand can be likened to too many hands, you know, chasing fewer goods. And why are too many hands chasing fewer goods? It's because of what? Too many money in circulation. There are too much money in the circulation, all right? Yes, of course. So that is why there is a rise in demand. You get me? That is too many hands chasing fewer goods, all right? Because supply is constant do you get the point so it's a very simple thing the price has to what rise okay so the persistent rise in the general price level is what we call inflation so do you see at this point that the the answer for this question is what a so do you get the point so this is what you will just choose as your answer option a is the answer and when you do it you have what 100 over 100 do you get me so that we it thank you for watching